rates. So on the 2020 American Ethanol Renewable Lubricants Mazda Trix RX-8, we're running a factory Mazda Speed internal dry sump system. We did have to make some modifications I added or increased the shimming to increase overall oil pressure. We're running WPC treated race bearings and a treated shaft throughout the motor. Um, we left the stock E-shaft jets because um, we wanted to control volume flow of the eccentric shaft at idle and we wanted to be able to re rely on pressure and volume to really cool the engine at high RPMs and, uh, and high horsepower range. So the factory dry sump system gives you one of the lowest profiles almost any motor can have. Most piston motors or external rotary dry sump systems, you need some type of uh, point to catch oil at the bottom and be able to scavenge it out. Uh, the factory Mazda Speed dry sump system or anybody who's making an aftermarket version of that same system, the scavenge is actually internally inside the rotary motor and we can run a completely flat bottom pan so there's no hang down to our oil pan allowing our three rotor to sit extremely low and, and very far back which I think gives the rotary motor an inherent advantage being that there isn't a lot of upper end weight and that there really is an, a, a cylindrical or very uh, round mass that can be positioned low. So factory dry sum system, fantastic, stable pressure. Um, use them if you can get them, they're expensive, uh, but they definitely have some advantages over external dry sum systems or wet sum systems in my opinion. And uh, you know, your external dry sum system will work fine if that's what you're running, it just has to be plumbed properly. And your wet sum system will work fine as long as it's set up properly as well. But a wet sump system, you're definitely gonna have a motor that's going to sit higher in your chassis profile. And uh, when we're talking about formula drift or upper level racing, um, even though the factory dry sump system is quite expensive, it provides quite a few advantages to packaging um, and solutions to consistent oiling for the G-loading and what we're trying to do with the formula drift.